First vlog, first entry. I'm gonna go buy new books today. I might look at some other stores, but I already placed an order at Target. I'm gonna go pick up my books and then we shall get to it. First vlog. So one of the books isn't there and it says I could get it at a different Target. But I'm not trying to wait like another two hours cause I just did pick up. And if I could go pick it up like right now, drive there, that's cool. But I'm not trying to order pick up and then wait another like 40 minutes. I'm about to figure out, I'll be back. So I have to be somewhere at five and it is currently 4.45. So I didn't go to the other store, but I'm gonna go tomorrow. I went and got these two books. I went on Target and I said like, I want, I don't want the third one yet because it's only hardcover. And the, me personally, I have a thing against hardcover books currently. So I'm pretty sure this is the second one, if I'm not mistaken. The first one is, yeah, it literally says the sequel to One of Us is Lying. It says it right there. So there's One of Us is Lying, One of Us is Next, currently this one, and then One of Us is Back. I just want to read it. I don't know what it's about. I don't know. I've read the back of the first one and I guess it's Mr suspense thriller murder maybe i want to read it this one I saw recommendations it's about a lady who kills her husband um yeah wife she kills her husband and then she stops talking and you don't know why so i want to read it so i want these two so i was gonna go get the other one but like i said i have to be somewhere in 15 minutes and so i can't so i'm so i'm actually out here i just bought my two new books um bayou and bayou so beautiful but amongst coming to Target, I, I had to bring this guy with me. He's not much of a reader. I love you brighter than one sun up in the sky. What you reading right now? I love you. Oh, me. Oh, what it? No, what's it? I love you sweeter than three crunchy yummy fruits. <laughs> I love you bigger than four giant hairy fruits. Which one is that's you, huh? This is me? No, that the know. big one. This one? Yeah, that's you. Sorry, you know, right? It looks like you. I worked out today. And then you want, then you took me to cold store. This is how they used to read to me. I love you. No, let me tell you how they used to read to you. Let me tell you how they, I love you. That's how they used to read to him. I don't even get it. I don't even get it. I love you more than the numbers. That's how they used to read to him. It's like, I'm sorry. Okay, so I just got back from target so i went to target earlier today i mean not earlier well yeah technically earlier today but after i went to the first target i went and then i came to this i went to another target and i picked it up it's called one of us is lying like i said i read a little bit about it um i know it's murder mystery suspense thriller that kind of genre which i've been in a lot lately which is what i've been reading which is weird because that wasn't my original favorite genre so i said i wanted to start it i know that there's the first one there's a second one and there's a last one third one right now is only hardcover so i didn't buy it which is fine because i don't like to read a whole series at once i don't like to binge a series just because i want to meet new characters read about new characters discover new characters so all all three of these are on my TBR. I'm gonna start soon. And I have two more books that are in a different room that are on my TBR. And I was initially gonna start those. I like to throw in, like I said, a little bit of a mix. So I was gonna read this book and then read a book that's completely different than read the second version and then read a completely different book. And then eventually I'll get to the third one. But in my shopping, going shopping for this book, I found this book. And this has crept up now to where I just want to start this book immediately. It's called The American Roommate Experiment. I literally don't know what it's about at all. I didn't read the back, like the summary or anything. It just looks nice. Like it looks nice. It looks like something that I would be into. It looks like something that I would read. A, a little bit of a shake up from the thriller and the spit. If I could show you guys the books that I have read over the past three weeks, two weeks, it's all this, it's all like the same genre, which I don't mind. But I feel like this is the original genre that was my favorite. But as of now, I feel like I've been more towards thriller and suspense. So I might do a reading vlog. I will do a reading vlog on whatever book I choose to read. Oh, one second. Okay, back. So initially, this was my book that I was going to read. I was so excited to read this. I was so excited to get into this book. It was called A Flicker in the Dark. I read just the beginning. It says, when Chloe Davis was 12, six teenage girls went missing in her small Louisiana town. By the end of her summer, her own father confessed to the grimes and was put away for life, leaving Chloe and the rest of her family to grapple with the truth and try to move forward while dealing with the aftermath. That alone had me hooked. I was so excited to read this. I was so excited to read this, but I had something else that I wanted to read. This that I wanted to read 
And I had this that I wanted to read. It's called One Last Secret. But this was like number one. Like I want to read this book. I want to read it. I want to read it. I want to get into it. But it's still aligned with that like murder mystery thriller kind of thing. This is just more, I feel like it was more lighthearted. And these were the two that I were going to read. I'm going to start this one on Monday and then start this one on Wednesday. But this has kind of creeped up where maybe I start this one Monday. I'm excited to start. I want to know what this is about. I want to dive in. I want to, my TBR list is growing, which is bad because before it'd be like maybe one or two books, it's growing, it's growing. And the sad part is, is I don't have the third book, which is called One of Us is Back. So that would be an extra book. All right, so I'm back. One of my friends just put me on a book. He said it's really good. So I'm gonna go pick that up and then I might find something else. We'll go from there. Okay, so we're on the way there now. I might have to get gas. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. It don't look like it's a maybe. It look like it's a definitely. We'll stop to get gas and then I'm gonna pick this up when we get there. We just got here. We just arrived. I'm at Barnes and Noble. I already know one book that I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna just get two. I said I know I was buying no more books, but one of my friends suggested a book he's reading you right now. He said that is really, really good. So I want to go get it. And then Barnes & Noble does this thing where like every $10 you spend, you earn one point. And then so like if you spend 10, 20, 30, 40, you feel me, four points. So I didn't want to just only spend $15. So I was like, might as well just get another book or something. So I got this. It's called a... Uh, the Outsider. That is really good. Stephen King. I know everybody loves Stephen King. Uh, the King of Horror. I know he has a new book called that just came out called Holly. I think. Um, I haven't read it. Obviously, just came out. But there's this book. I don't know. This is what I love. I, I don't know anything about this book. I don't know anything about it. I didn't read anything. I didn't read the back. I don't know nothing about it. But if somebody is reading it and they say it's good, then I just want to read it. I want to go into the book completely like blank like i don't want to know anything about the book i don't want to know anything about the book so i got this one this is added to the tbr now yesterday we talked and it's still here this and this were number one and number two on my tbr this is looking like it's creeping up but today when i went shopping this looked like it's gonna be number one it's now it's between these two it's a quick little read, I guess. 10 Blind Dates. I That's all I read. It says, trust your family to make the holidays even more awkward. Like I was just flicking through, looking at it. And it's, it's the text is really easy. Like it's not hard at all. But it says like, it says blind date number six, Aunt Camille's pick. And then it was like, yeah, and it's just, these 10 blind dates, I guess that's just what it is. That's what it's about. 300 pages, should be easy. It's looking like these two. Uh, if I do uh, pick, it's gonna be between these two, which sucks because 
Now no more. Officially no more. Officially no more. Officially no more. I can't. I can't. I can't. Because now where does this book get placed? Oh my gosh. And I'm there. And this girl, I don't know if it was this book, but this girl is like, oh my gosh, I picked it up and it was by like a prostitute or an escort. And I kind of like tried to tune out. I was like, oh no, 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 no. I hope she's not. She's like, it wasn't for me. I didn't like it. She wasn't talking to me. She was just talking out loud. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope she's not talking about it. She's like, it wasn't good. I didn't like it. Please up was by like this prostitute, this escort. And this happens and just stuck like oh no please i'm like i hope she's not talking about this but but that's it big tbr list it's it's getting out of hand no more shopping until i at least finish there's eight books here no more shopping until i finish five of these